there is an emergency declared. We are all quarantined. The world is ending. Well, maybe not. So let's look at some survival food that you can grow in your garden during these extreme times. So let's begin with potatoes. Potatoes can be easily started from slips or from existing potatoes that you have at home and you can even buy some potato seeds. Now I have grown potatoes very easily in 5 gallon containers and it's very easy to grow them in smaller containers, trash bags. I have even grown them in whiskey barrel containers or larger containers. And finally you can easily grow potatoes in raised beds as well if you want an abundant harvest. Potatoes are very easy to grow. They produce abundantly and hence they become a great survival food to grow in your garden. While the grocery stores are running out of potatoes, this is your chance to grow fresh potatoes at home. Now if you want to take it a notch further, you can start growing taro root. Taro root is very nutrition dense, it's very starchy, it's a nuttier cousin of the potato and is not only easy to grow but will leave your taste buds absolutely pleased. Second, herbs and other greens. Herbs like cilantro are extremely easy to grow during crisis times. You can grow cilantro very easily in 5 gallon or smaller containers and they add a nice spice, a nice zest to your salads, to anything that you cook and it's just so easy to grow at home. I have grown cilantro under grow lights very easily. I have also grown them in aluminum trays by just using sand or perlite or compost. So all in all cilantro is extremely easy to grow in your home garden. Leafy greens like lettuce are excellent to grow during crisis times just because they keep you very full. Greens like lettuce which can come in a variety of different flavors that you can grow at home can be easily harvested and eaten as a salad. You can throw in some olive oil, some nuts and it makes a really wholesome dish or food that you can consume which will not only provide you a lot of fiber to keep you full but will also keep you very healthy by providing essential vitamins and minerals. And there are many varieties of lettuce that you can grow at home and they can also be grown very easily in small containers and in small spaces. Let's now move to fenugreek, another green that you can easily grow in your home garden. And this was my first fenugreek video where I had grown fenugreek in a whiskey barrel container and got an abundant harvest. And fenugreek can be used in many different ways and you can also grow these in wider containers as you see. Fenugreek grows very quickly. It's a very healthy, delicious leafy green and also produces seeds that you can use. Now some of these greens can also be very easily grown in something like just play sand or just pure compost. And you can grow them very easily and keep harvesting them during extreme times when your grocery stores have run out of herbs and essentials. Mint is another easy to grow green or spice or herb in your home garden. You can just take some mint cuttings put them in water with a little bit of dirt and once they start rooting you can plant your mint plant into containers. As you can see here we are using this small container just a 5 gallon one and this produces excellent quality mint and you can use this to zest up your food, your salads and your dishes. Number 3 is radish. Radish is extremely easy to grow during extreme times or during crisis times just because they grow very quickly. These early maturing radishes take anywhere from 30 to 40 days to mature and give you an excellent harvest that can be eaten raw or cooked. And some of these radish varieties are so quick maturing that you can just sow the seeds in any shallow tray or any shallow container and within no time you will get an abundant harvest of radish. Radish grown at home is not only very fresh, you can eat the radish bulbs or the root as well as the greens and they taste amazing. I have grown radish in extremely shallow containers as shallow as 6 inches or so and they come in a lot of colors the white radish, the red, crimson, lot of different colors extremely easy to grow at home during crisis times and this is one vegetable that I definitely recommend that you start growing if you haven't tried already just because it's very easy to grow especially for a new gardener or someone who's just getting into gardening but even for experienced gardeners, this is a very easy crop to grow in your home garden. Number 4 on the list is tomatoes. Now the grocery stores have all run out of tomatoes and potatoes and you can easily grow tomatoes, very nice, fresh and delicious tomatoes at home. I have posted a lot of videos on how to grow tomatoes. 
They come in a lot of colors like the sun gold select tomato variety as well as the red tomatoes and quick maturing tomatoes like the early girl that you see here or the big boy. They are very easy to grow at home and will produce a lot of tomatoes. And during these extreme times, anything that you grow at home using any method will be far superior to what you can find at the grocery stores just because there's a severe shortage of all these products. Now if you thought you needed a lot of space to grow tomatoes, you may be wrong. This red pride hybrid tomato grows to about a foot or so and produces abundant tomatoes and not only is the plant short and easy to maintain, it also produces tomatoes that are extremely delicious and you're getting a lot of tomatoes from just a one foot or two foot plant, which is quite amazing. Now while you can grow heirloom tomatoes like the black creme or the Cherokee purple, these are excellent tomato varieties as far as taste goes. They are slightly more difficult to grow compared to the other varieties that are more disease resistant. These heirloom tomato varieties are quite delicious. They have a very unique taste and they look very different compared to the other tomatoes, the hybrid or the disease resistant tomatoes. So if you get a chance, you should be growing these tomatoes. But for the average gardener or for most people, I recommend that you stick to some of the tomato varieties that you see here. They are easy to grow and they produce abundantly without a lot of hassle. And last but not the least, something that's packed with protein and is very delicious, beans. We've been growing bush beans in very compact areas for quite some time and they produce abundantly. Bush beans can be grown not only in raised beds but also in several types of containers and there are a lot of different types of beans that you can grow. Here is the asparagus bean which is also packed with protein and is very delicious. You have the green beans, French beans and the yellow wax beans. And I've grown beans in smaller containers as well as larger containers. Bush beans grow extremely well in almost any type of container and produce abundantly. As you can see, this is a bush type bean and is producing abundantly in just a small space. And beans are extremely delicious when you grow them at home. They're crunchy, they're flavorful and they're very nice. And they also contain a lot of fiber to keep you full. And it also has a lot of protein that will keep you strong and healthy. Now I've grown bush beans in smaller containers like these five gallon containers very easily. And if you have the space, go ahead and plant pole beans. Pole beans take up a lot more space to grow. However, you can grow them vertically using the easy trellis method that I have shared in my previous video. And they do produce abundantly just because they have a lot of area to grow in. But no matter how you grow your beans or which type of beans you grow, beans are very prolific and a very good survival crop that you can grow during extreme times. So there we have it folks. That was our episode on growing five survival foods during extreme times. Let us know what your choices are for growing foods during this time. I know a lot of you are at home and are trying to grow something in your home garden. So do share with us what you are growing during these extreme times. I hope you're all well and healthy. Take care during these extreme times, stay at home, grow these survival crops and you'll be perfectly fine. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.